Check it out. I was originally planning on going into the city today. Planning on checking out Soho, Chinatown, and ultimately go to Coney Island. It was gonna be a rainy day today, but you know what? That doesn't scare me because I think rain provides awesome opportunities for street photography, especially the reflections you get. It adds so much texture to photography. I'm looking at the train schedule, and I'm, I'm upstate New York. I would have to take the train from Poughkeepsie to New York City. With the time it is now, I would end up missing a trip, and I would have to wait an hour, and uh, then that trip would end up being two and a half hours long. And you know what, it doesn't give me enough time to actually explore New York and I don't want to rush it. I don't ever like rushing street photography. And for the most part, when I start, when I actually start shooting, my first few pictures, I, I don't really have an attention to it because, you know, it's like I'm still scoping out the area and this, you know, feeling for a synchronicity in the environment, um, you know, and trying to build connectivity to what is around me. And, uh, but you know what? I'm still gonna go to Poughkeepsie because there is this train station that is so dope. It was built a long time ago and it just has a nice classic look to it. And I think that'll be a really awesome thing to put on for a video. So I'm gonna take you with me and, uh, hmm. We're gonna use the X100V. We're going to be doing black and white. We'll be using a film recipe called Padilla. And I'll be sure to leave the ingredients to this recipe in the description below. And plus, a shout out to who made this recipe as well. Now for the month of June, I'm doing a challenge for myself. If you guys wanna join, that'd be awesome. And that is the black and white challenge. Now, I want to do this challenge so I could see how shooting in black and white affects my photography. How, um, not relying on color, but light and shade and interpretation of the image. I'll be using HP5 film stock, Ilford Delta, Cinestill black and white double X, which I can't wait to use. We have to talk about this right now. First shot of the day goes to uh, the doo-doo buggy. And uh, with this Padilla recipe, the doo-doo actually pops pretty well. Gypsy train station has a timeless feel. Such an ambience.
gentleman right here literally walks into the frame as a happy accident. What I do like about this place is that it's not often crowded and it gives the whole space time to breathe. Just so y'all know, I didn't edit any of these pictures. I might have cropped them. I might have like recentered them. But all of this is from the Padilla recipe. I feel like I should have had a different exposure for that shot. And the light was a little too blown out and uh, I'm using a uh, Cinnabalone. shots just so I could get this shot. I think that one was a little better. I do feel like with shooting black and white, I could be more liberal when it comes to um, what I want to shoot. These are some of the shots I really love to take. You know, a far away subject in a massive space. No subject could have been a little closer and more aligned with the lights. I still dig this shot. There we go, much better.
I was trying to get that one guy through the window and, uh, you know, it just wasn't really working out. for this gentleman to pass and uh, this little technique I just wait there make it seem like I'm shooting video and then bam that shot could have been a little better but you know it is what it is I guess that's a could I wanted this shot to be better too um, I wish he was looking at the camera and his head seemed a little cut off. I do like how she was centered and she was wearing darker clothes that made her stood out. I can feel the rain coming down. The rain was playing a lot of games today. I was expecting torrential downpour and wait for a bit and then um, come and take the spoils, so to speak. This whole spot right here, man, I knew I had to camp out and do some um, interval setting shoots. I rarely take any selfies and, uh, you know, I got the same picture on my profile since. Uh, the prehistoric age. Well, that's what I love about like Fujifilm. I'm pretty sure every other modern camera does it is the uh, interval shots. Okay, so uh, it's rain is kind of going back and forth. I'm not really sure what's going on. Um, it looks like it might rain any minute. It looks like Father God is holding the rain today. And uh, you know what? I think that means we could still shoot some film and uh, not worry about getting showered. All right, I spoke too soon. The rain is now upon us. Here comes the showers, baby. I was fortunate enough to switch back to my uh, X100V. Using that would be awesome because it is wet. It is WR. I guess that's it's not water resistant, but. I don't know. It's resistant to like water and stuff and weather. It's resistant. Resilience. Yeah, baby. So, uh, we're about to, uh, I don't know. Let's go explore, I guess. I'm trying to get into taking these mundane magic shots. I see a lot of people do them and, uh, I don't know. I guess when they do it, it looks so cool. Even though it's like an like something you would pass every day and never pay attention to. Fujifilm in black and white is a lot of fun, but black and white does to certain colors. Here we go. And uh, seeing what black and white does to certain colors and, and uh, as far as the tonality and, and the actual shade, what, you know, what colors are lifted, what colors are darkened. Um, seeing that on, my, on Fuji is awesome. It's such, such a cool thing to see. Um, I really, really, really like this Padilla recipe. But yeah, so we're gonna continue using Fuji and uh, you know, have fun with it, you know what I'm saying? I also gotta add, I am not much of a speaker. I'm a very background person. I'm not articulate. I'm the kind of guy who doesn't know where to put a comma.
By the way, how do you guys like this kind of mount? I'm putting it on my shoulder. It kind of feels like I'm, I have a parrot or something on me. I'm getting tired of mounting my GoPro on my chest because every time I bend down to take a picture at knee level, um, you guys are stuck with a crotch shot. You guys don't get to see what actually happens. So, changes. Sometimes you gotta make changes, and uh, you know, I like this one. What's that? That's the vlogs. It's the vlogs, baby. Hey. Yeah. Shout out to Louie. Oh, this dude is mint. Good guy. Good guy. And then the rain comes down. I was pretty happy about this. Even though my camera has the WR, I still wasn't confident enough to actually just stay out there without uh, proper covering. So we waited out the rain for a little bit and uh, we continue. I kind of like the shot. I really like uh, the car reflection in the foreground with the uh, with the raindrops on it. And here I am trying to work at that mundane magic. I was actually fishing for the woman with the umbrella, but at the end of the driveway, someone else popped up and her silhouette made a better picture. It's one thing I love about street photography, it has taught me patience. And observation. Observation is key. I'm not a talker, but I observe and I listen. With every weakness, there is a strength. Oh, and uh, here's a cat. Didn't really get it in focus, but you know. Shout out to uh, Kevin Mullins with this recipe. About here was when I realized that uh, Google was uh, deceiving me as far as uh, taking me to my destination. All right, so check it out. That bridge you see behind me, I've been trying to find the entrance for, and uh, Google Maps has been literally guiding me in circles. Kind of this close to giving up. I might give it one more shot. I might actually just follow where this entrance is. See those people? I want to be where those people are. But, but Google, I'm really disappointed right now. But yeah, Google, I don't get it. You could read my mind and sell me on everything I want on social media. You could give me ads, you know. I could think about a camera, I could think about a lens, and somehow, poof, I could see it on the sidebar of my Facebook. But you can't give me the right directions to where I need to go. Hudson Walkway, please. 
Google. Take me there. All right, kudos to the guy, the uh, friendly guy in the neighborhood here who gave me directions to find the bridge. And uh, we are on the way now. I hope. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, you see that, Google? You see that, Google? Take a look at this. Take a look at this. Walkway, right there. Right there, Google. Guy from the Poughkeepsie neighborhood, one. Google, zero. Going to this gas station, get myself a kiwi strawberry snapple. Okay, I'm doing a little better. Got myself a Snickers, you know, because uh, it wasn't really myself. And uh, bam, here we are. This whole video, just, you know, this wasn't supposed to mean anything. But now, it was meant for this. Yeah. Not gonna lie, I was pretty happy to find this spot. And the funny thing about it is that it started to rain almost instantly. So I had to really think fast and make the best out of uh, my journey. I kind of knew that some interval shots were in order after recognizing how secluded the walkway was today. We did it, and uh, it is raining again, ladies and gentlemen. Let me see if I could get uh, some shots in the middle here. Um, then I think we'll be heading back to the car and uh, get some grub or something like that. Not sure why I thought about walking backwards, but yeah, it happened.
As I was walking back to the car, I saw uh, this board with a smiley face on it. I decided to take a chance and shoot in the rain. Thoughts and prayers to my X100V. these flowers and uh, I really like taking like full shots of uh, flowers that cover the entire image. And it looked really good black and white with the bromist, or should I say Cinebloom. Not sure why I took this, but you know, the ideas popped up in my head. I guess I kind of like it. I don't know. You let me know. I thought this was pretty cool. It might have been actually one of my favorite shots for the day. Yeah, so this bear. Let's talk about this bear. I legit thought someone was in a bear costume and just chilling there. Like I thought I was like about to be in one of these uh, scare you videos and someone just sees a bear and walks up to it and, you know, scares the living daylights out of you. This shot I thought was dope. That was a big bear. I really do love how the Spadilla recipe treats specific colors. And there's my last shot of the day. Yo, what up, Baronet? I just want to take this time to, uh, you know, to say thank you to everyone who's been like watching, you know, my content on YouTube. Uh, it really means a lot to me. Stay tuned for the rest of the month. Uh, I'm gonna continue doing a whole month dedicated to black and white photography. Um, I've already shot two other pieces of content that I'm gonna be adding on to this, um, and uh, one is another portrait on film with my wife, and. Uh, another street vibes um, that was that has taken place in Kingston, New York. But if y'all could do me a favor, like and subscribe to this channel. It really, really helps me out. And, uh, you know, uh, really motivates me to create more content for y'all. And, um, you know, help, helping me stretch my imagination, my creativity out and see what else I could do. Um, you know, what other challenges um, I could, you know, I could set out for myself and create for other people. If you guys have any Fujifilm recipes or maybe some film stocks you want to see, you know, leave them in the comments below. And, uh, you know, I'd love to check them out. Anyway, love y'all. Reese's Pieces.